That's right, Sharon. The water has been covering the roadway. It's been shut down since about 7 o'clock here this morning in Phelps County. Finally, those water levels starting to recede a little bit this afternoon, but not before creating deadly situations in neighboring Pulaski County and bad traffic conditions all over the state. Let me step out of the way so you can see here a completely empty I-44. You don't see that very often. No cars, but there is water down there covering the entire roadway. Just a few hours ago, it peaked at about three feet covering the highway. We just checked in with MoDOT. Officials telling me it's now at about a foot and a half deep and receding. As for the impact on traffic, it's been extensive. On our way to Rolla today from St. Louis, we came to a complete stop on 44, just past the St. James exit, and we sat there for about an hour. In that time, we only got about a mile down the road, and we were not alone. I think personally it's going to get worse as the day goes on because people are going to start getting off that are local and then it's going to cause more chaos. You got all these big truckers too and they can't go that fast and they can't stop real fast so you just kind of go with the flow. <laughs> and you guys, we go back and forth down 44 all the time. Couldn't imagine there being a road issue with rain. So When they said water over 44, what do you think? No way. I didn't think that could possibly be the case. And you're now taking an up close look at the Gasconade River right next to the little Piney River. Look at it. You can see beating up against that railroad bridge. And if you look closely, you can see propane tanks actually bouncing up against the bridge, creating another potentially dangerous situation here. Still another four to five hours to go before the water is expected to be clear from 44. And even after that happens, there is a long list of things to be done before anyone can come back here and drive on I-44. So we'll be checking in to see exactly what has to be done. And we'll see you again here in about 45 minutes on News 4 at 6. Live in Phelps County, I'm Emily Rao, News 4.